Welcome back to Cook It Simple with Eric. So today we are making a wonderful comfort food classic. We have green beans, potatoes, and ham. We're going to make it in the crock pot today. Going to add some proper seasonings to it. I've been looking forward to this. The weather around here has been a little bit gray and rainy for the past few days and has been for quite a few people. So keep everybody in your thoughts and prayers who's had hurricanes and everything. But So right now, I made a little bit of cornbread to go along with it. So today I'm going to show you how I made that crock pot. What, ham beans and potatoes? So stay with me. Let's go make it. All right, the ingredients that we'll be using today is first off is our magical green beans. So I got these fresh at the store. These are two pounds here. So what you want to do when you get your green beans, you just want to snap the ends like that. Snap them off. The size, this is probably about the maximum size I'm going to go with. So if I get like the longer green beans, I'll probably cut them in half. So we'll do that. Um, green beans are a wonderful thing. If you get a bunch of them, have somebody help you snap them. You know, it's good family time. We used to do that growing up. We'd help my great grandma or we'd help my mom or whatever. You know, if they brought the garden in, had a bunch of green beans, we'd all sit around with our bowl of green beans and snap and peel, snap and, you know, just did that. It was good family time. So we're also doing 32 ounces of your chicken broth. I bought the uh, lower sodium, the less sodium, because we have ham going in, so that's going to be very, add some sodium to it. So here I got, this is a 2.75 pound pre-cooked ham, it's honey hardwood smoked. So I probably will only use about half of this to do that, but I had to buy all of that or buy a little piece, and they're about the same price-wise. So. Now for your potatoes, I like to use the Yukon Gold in here because I think they're just a little smoother. You can use russet, you can use the red potato. A lot of people do use the red potato in this. I don't, but I'll peel and I'll kind of cut these up in little chunks, about one inch chunks. Um, I'll probably may use a little more than what I have sitting there. We'll see. A lot of times I don't measure stuff. I just throw everything in. If it looks good, it's good. Uh, so then I'm going to dice up the onion. We'll probably use maybe about half of it, maybe a little more. We'll see. Then I'm going to use probably two or three cloves of garlic and I'll put it in the garlic press and put that in. We'll do the layer side. We're going to season it with, with some Italian seasonings. Yes, I know. It's a little odd, but Italian seasonings will give it just a little, little, uh, extra flavor because we know that green beans and potatoes can be a little boring and they do require some seasoning and we're also going to be doing salt and pepper to taste we'll be very generous on the pepper the salt we'll have to see at the end if we even add any but right now I've got to snap all these get them these to size quarter up some ham cut up my potatoes and peel them I'll see you back at the crock pot all right I've got everything cut up quartered I have the potatoes quartered up or cubed up I have the green beans all nicely done I have the ham chunked up of course onions diced up we've got our garlic out there we've got our seasonings waiting so what I'm going to do is we're going to start out by putting the green beans we're kind of light we're going to layer this a little bit so we're going to Throw some green beans at the bottom, about half of them, like so. Now the potatoes we want closer to the top because it heats from bottom up, so potatoes get done a little quicker, so we want those there. So now we're just going to put big old chunks of ham laid about, kind of layer it like a lasagna. I used about half of that ham, so we're looking at probably about a pound and a quarter, maybe. Um, I think that should be plenty. So once we do that, then we want part of our onions in here. Put a little bit more in. Now we want some of our 
garlic. Now I've, this is three cloves here. So you can use as little or as much as you want. I went three cloves. So like I said, we're using about half of everything. Wipe my hands off here. All right, so we'll put about half the potatoes in here. Okay, like I said, we'll just do a layer. So there's our first layer. We'll go ahead and do some pepper and some Italian seasonings. Now, I, I'm always very generous on pepper. If you watch my channel, you'll know I'm a, I like my pepper. Especially when it comes to, like especially potatoes. Italian seasonings. I always like to put the Italian seasoning in my hand like so. And as I do, I just kind of crush it as I sprinkle it all in. All right, so there's our first layer. Okay, so now we're going to repeat it exactly like we did before. Green beans. Now I did wash the green beans very well before I did anything with them, so make sure you wash them. Okay, so there's another layer of that, of the green beans. Do another layer of your ham. I guess we did onions last time, but... It'll all work. Put all that ham in there. There we got a nice layer of your ham. Big old thing of onions in there. Like I said, I probably used about a half, a little over half of a large onion on that. Of course your garlic. Like I said, we've got about three cloves total. I do love my garlic, so we've got that thrown in there. Let me rinse my hand. All right, I'll top it off with some potatoes and finish seasoning it up again. Now this is, you can put more in there. This is a pretty big crock pot. So we'll just let everything go there and we put the seasonings on. Actually, let's go ahead and do the chicken broth. Pour your broth all around. We're gonna use the whole thing. Now I have started preheating the crock pot. I don't know if anybody else does, but I figure that just gives everything a head start cook time wise. There we go. So we have 32 ounces. There. So we have 32 ounces of our low sodium chicken broth. So now let's go ahead and season the heck out of this thing with some more pepper. Now I've set the timer for four hours, which is normally about what it takes, but we're just gonna kind of keep an eye on it. So basically what we're looking for is we're looking for the green beans to be tender, but not mushy. We're looking for the potatoes to be fork tender, not mushy. And the ham, it's pre-cooked. So basically it's just gonna get up to temperature as everything else does. So that's kind of our one we don't really have to worry too much about. I'm going to put a little more of that seasoning in. Now since we've put onion and your garlic in, we're not going to worry about the onion powder or garlic powder. If we feel it needs some later, we can add it. But I think right now we're just going to put the lid on, let this go for about four hours. And then I'll probably check it periodically just to make sure we're not overcooking it. So, let me get the lid, and I'll see you back here in about four hours. It has been about, probably about four hours and 20 minutes. I decided to make some cornbread for this, so let's uh, take a look at it. I've checked it a couple times throughout the cook process just to make sure that we got it all done, but man, I tell you, 
through a couple little taste tests, I think we're right on. Definitely peppery because I put a lot in there. So now I did check a little bit ago. I checked the beans and the potatoes. So now the potatoes. Pork tender goes right in. When I checked the beans earlier, they had just a little, little bite to them. A little al dente, I guess, if it were pasta. And that's the way I like it. So let's go ahead and get some in a bowl and get it cooled down. Get the cornbread plated up so we can try this. All right, I've been waiting for this moment right here for almost five hours now. So, like I said, we cooked up a wonderful classic comfort food here with your green beans, potatoes, and ham in the crock pot. Your potatoes turned out wonderful. They're exactly how they should be. The beans have just a little crunch to them. So let's see if we can get all, a little bit of a little bit of this all over here. We got Stuart staring at me. You know what he wants. He wants ham. So let's just give this a taste. Oh yeah. The flavor in this. Mmm. That turned out so good. Like I said everything is cooked perfectly in here. Especially the potatoes, they turned out great. Green beans, always use fresh. I think fresh is just better. But you can do canned, frozen, whatever. But I just like the fresh. So, and definitely make some cornbread with it or some nice biscuits with it. I did some gluten free cornbread because I know everybody else that's going to be eating this. We do have a gluten intolerant family member that she'll be eating this too. So, Gotta make sure everybody's eating. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in to Cooking Supper with Eric. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe, like, and definitely share with somebody. I'd appreciate that. It's definitely helping out. So, but until next week, I'll see ya.